Right. Good afternoon, Clive. How are you doing? I'm well, Graham. How are you? Good, good. It's uh, it's very miserable outside, a bit grey, but uh, the heating's on, so so that's uh, that's a good thing. And it's Friday. And it's Friday, absolutely. Um, so here we are. We've got another another session of five with Clive, um, and today's topic of conversation is Woga, which is uh, warehouse keepers and owners of warehouse goods uh, regulations, 1999. Um, Potentially, there's there's going to be some changes, Clive, and wonder if you can give our audience uh, a bit of a, a, an update as to what HMRC's thoughts are at this point. Yeah, yeah, and I think we we obviously need to keep this as simplified as we can. Yeah. Um, but but the current proposal is, and, and this is obviously HMRC have undertaken a review of WAGA, um, as you say, and 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 they did, they explored a number of avenues. Now, obviously, this isn't cast in stone, as we know. Um, as we spoke with HMRC on a webinar last week when they gave us their updated views on progress. Um, and it's not cast in stone, so th th they are going to come out to, to the trade and representative bodies for further discussion. Uh, but in essence, what they are proposing or will propose is, is to revoke all WOGA legislation. Um, rather than extend it, because the other option would be to extend it um, to to other parties, you know, wine, o wine owners, et cetera, hauliers even. So that, that was, that's been very much on the agenda. But I think that their, their current view and thinking and direction of travel is, is they're going to revoke all WOGA legislation. Now, yeah, that, 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 that cuts close to the heart of what we do, quite frankly, which is as the Bonded Warehouse Keepers Association says on the tin, yeah. is that through that, should that happen, then effectively HMRC are going to and will abdicate all responsibility around approving not only warehouse keepers, I guess, but definitely uh, owners of goods and the duty representatives. And the owners will fall wholly and squarely on the warehouse keeper okay. and it will be their responsibility rather than HMRC to ensure that, that, that any business wishing to warehouse with them and warehouse excise due to suspended goods are fit and proper to do so. Now I have to say there's mixed views <laughs> I think already you know members that are members that were on that call and webinar with HMRC I think there is a, a mixed opinion, but I think the, the common view is, well, how are we going to do that? You know, how we, how, as a warehouse keeper, are we going to ensure that someone's fit and proper to utilise UK excise warehousing? And I think that's the bit that needs to be developed. And I think, as you know, as, as you know, we all, we, all we said on the call was that we're, we're more than keen and, and, and happy to work collaboratively with HMRC around this subject, but it does need HMRC support. It, it cannot do its classic of saying, well, that's our decision, off you go, it's up to you. You're the policeman, you decide whether someone's fit and proper to warehouse with you or not. It, you know, and, and I have some genuine concerns about that. And, and HMRC's application or apparent application of all responsibility, um, but it but it does, and I think as Brian Davis uh, from LCB mentioned, well, you know, in some respects, H the warehouse keeper's doing that already through its you know, having to do its appropriate due diligence with anybody on anybody, any trader, any duty rep that wants to or any of that wants to warehouse with them or w with any warehouse keeper. So. He sees that as an extension of the due diligence requirement. And I don't disagree with that, it is, but we need some support from HMRC. You know, HMRC know, you know, the criminal activities going on within excise warehousing. They know, in a lot of cases, I do believe, who the perpetrators of those crimes are. Therefore, and I did say on a cause you recall, we need visibility of who they are. So, and that will help us then make the right decision. You know, and prevent these 
and it is organised crime and organised criminals having access to the playing field to be able to perpetrate this fraud. So surely, but surely it's got to be NHMR's interest to share that knowledge with us so we can make the right decision and actually prevent anybody who set on committing fraud from having access to the excise warehouse arena. So that's kind of where we are, Graham, in simple terms. I think there, there's a fair amount of water left to run under the bridge. And we're going to really stay close, as we've indicated to HMRC. We want to stay close to this. You know, it's in our mem members' vested interest that we do stay close to it and we get the right outcome. Yeah. Now, I think we all want the same thing. But but what I do, what I am worried about is, you know, HMRC just abdicating all that responsibility to the warehouse keeper. And then should anything be wrong or find to be wrong, you know, we're referred to as a tether, tethered goat in this environment and arena, and we are, they'll go straight to the warehouse keeper yeah. for any wrongdoing, for any outstanding duties. So I think there's a lot to discuss. And HMRC, you know, Mike Gilmore from HMRC was on that call and he accepted our position and said, yeah, look, this isn't a done deal. And look, you know, we'll listen to your concerns. So, you know, I think as secretary, if we, you know, I, I think the next stage for us is really to reach out to our members, make them aware of the review, make them aware of HMR's current thinking. And look, share your concerns with us and then we will table those concerns with HMRC. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But like you say, it's not it's not set in stone yet. They haven't made a decision. Um, so it's, it's a good opportunity for, for the members out there to kind of put their thoughts forward. Um, and then we, we can pass that on uh, to yeah. HMRC for consideration. And I think that's right. Reach out to you, you know, yeah. either via the website or directly to your your secretary at uh, uh, the BWA email address. I, I think this is one we can't stay silent on. No. You know, nor should we, because the ramifications are quite enormous. You know, and um, you know, I can, I can. Well, let 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 let's see. I don't, I don't, I don't prejudge it because you know we need to, we need the, we need the process to flow, and complete, and 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 hope HMRC are true to their word that they do want to engage, they do want to listen, and work with us to find, you know, a fair and balanced and reasonable solution. You know that 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 benefits us all and disadvantages the perpetrators seeking to commit alcohol fraud. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all on the same side, kicking the football in the same direction. Uh, one would hope. Um, but you know, historically, HMRC have not shared that intelligence or knowledge. Um, but in this instance, I think if we're going to get this right, they need to. Yeah, and support us warehouse keepers to yeah. get to the right decision because it's in, in, in everybody's interests that we do. Absolutely. Right. OK, well, thank you very much. Um, hopefully Pleasure. everyone uh, uh, got, got uh, something informative out of that. Um, and uh, yeah, as I say, if, if you do have uh, questions or want to raise any concerns and contact me via uh, secretary at the BWA.com, um, we'll try and keep everything updated on the websites and uh, we'll make sure the members are, are updated on the on the situation going forward as well. Great. Excellent. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Clive. Pleasure. As Look always. Have a, yeah, you have a great afternoon and a great weekend. And yeah, um, to anyone's listening. Yeah, same thing. Have a great uh, rest of the afternoon and, uh, and a great weekend. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.